So next, let us look at the transformations involving mirror images about different axes. So these transformations involve putting minus x in the place of x, putting minus y in the place of y, putting mod x in the place of x, putting mod y in the place of y, so on. So these mirror images transformations involve interchanging the signs of x and y or using the moduluses of x in the place of x and modulus of y in the place of y. So if you have a function y is equal to f of x, we we'll look at the following transformations. How does the graph of f of minus x look like? How does the graph of y is equal to minus f of x looks like? How does the graph of y is equal to f of mod x look like? Mod y is equal to f of x look like? Y is equal to mod f of x looks like? So these are some of the transformations that we try to understand in this topic. So these transformations become very important for your J mains and advanced examinations. So I hope you look through them very carefully. Remember these two very simple rules. So if you replace x with minus x, if you replace x with minus x, the graph flips about y axis horizontally. That is if y is equal to f of x is a curve. Suppose this is the graph of y is equal to f of x, some function. So if you want to draw the graph of y is equal to f of minus x, it is in the place of x, suppose you have put minus x. So how does the graph change? The change in the graph is very simple. This graph flips about y axis horizontally. That is the positive side graph will go to the negative side of x. The negative x graph goes to the positive side of x. So that's what happened, right? If you put minus x in the place of x, the functional values corresponding to positive axis now will be the functional values corresponding to negative axis. And the functional values correspond to the negative axis here will now be corresponding to the positive axis here. So if you put x is, e x is equal to 1, if you put x is equal to minus 1 here, both y's are same. That is the functional value corresponding to x is equal to 1 here will be the functional value corresponding to x is equal to minus 1 here. That is if correspond to 1, the point is here. Now this point goes to the point correspond to minus 1. So this happens for each and every point. So all these values come on to this end. So the graph will look something like this. So this part will come here. And this part will go on to that side. So this is the graph of y is equal to f of minus x. So I hope you understand what this flipping means. This part gets mirror imaged onto this side. This part, this part goes mirror imaged onto that side. So if you are transforming the minus x in the place of x, obviously the transformation, the flipping happens horizontally. The flipping happens horizontally. So this graph comes onto this side, this graph goes onto that side. A similar transformation happens when y is replaced by minus 1. So if the graph is minus y is equal to f of x. If the graph is minus y is equal to f of x. So how does the graph look like? So we have the graph of y is equal to f of x. Now what happens in minus y is equal to f of x is the graph flips vertically. That is this top part will go to bottom, this bottom part will go to top. So the graph will look something like this. This part goes like this. And next, so this part comes down, this part goes up, this part comes down. So this will be the graph of minus y is equal to f of x. So if this is the graph of y is equal to f of x, this will be the graph of minus y is equal to f of x. So I hope you understand how the flipping happens. X with minus X 
flips horizontally about y axis y in the place of minus y in the place of y flips vertically about x axis the next transformation that we are going to study is what happens if you put mod x in the place of x what happens if you put mod x in the place of x so two things happen when mod x gets into the place of x the first thing is the part of curve on the left side of y axis or that graph corresponding to the negative axis will disappear so if you take the graph of y is equal to f of x so first thing that happens when you put mod x in the place of x is this part of the graph the graph corresponding to the negative values of x graph corresponding to the negative values of x will disappear that means only this graph is left out only this part of the graph is left out so here you don't have any graph in the first step so next go to the second step the mirror image of curve on the positive x about y axis about y axis fills the void on the negative x axis so now here you don't have a graph so now what will come in this place because this have this part of the graph has disappeared you have a void here so what fills this void so the mirror image of the graph on the right hand side will fill the gap on the left hand side it is you fill the left hand side with the mirror image of this so this is how the graph of y is equal to f of mod x looks like so i hope the steps are clear so whenever you have a graph if mod x replaces x the graph on the left side of y axis or the graph corresponding to the negative axis will disappear and then the mirror image of the graph on the right hand side on the positive x axis will replace the void will fill the void on the left hand side so the two steps are quite clear right next let us go and see what happens if you replace y with mod y next let us see what happens if y is replaced by mod y so here also two things happen this time the part of the graph below x axis that is corresponding to the negative values of y disappear and what comes in that place the mirror image of the remaining graph that is the graph correspond to the positive ones replaces the void so now first thing that happens is all the graph below x axis will disappear so what is remaining you have this graph remaining and this graph remaining so you have this graph and this graph this part gets disappeared and this part gets disappeared so you don't have this you are left with these two parts now there is no graph below x axis so there is a void it is an empty place so what fills this void the mirror image of the remaining graph above x axis will replace the void so the mirror image of these two graphs above x axis will replace the void so this will be the graph of mod y is equal to f of x this will be the graph of mod y is equal to f of x as you can see the domain of this function and this function changes because if mod y is equal to f of x f of x has to be positive corresponding to the negative values of f of x you won't have a solution for mod y is equal to f of x so here f of x is equal to minus 1 can mod y be ever minus 1 no so there is no graph at this point correspond to this point so i hope the points are clear
the graph, the part of the graph below x axis will disappear. The part of the graph below x axis will disappear. And the mirror image of the remaining graph, the mirror image of the remaining graph replaces the void that is created. So we have understood how x is equal to mod x works, y becoming mod y works. So we have looked at these four transformations x being replaced by minus x, y being replaced by minus y, x being replaced by mod x, y being replaced by mod y. So now let us look at one more final transformation corresponding to the transformations involving mirror images. So if y is equal to f of x becomes y is equal to modulus of f of x. So the whole f of x is going inside modulus. This is different from any of these transformations. Here I have either put mod y in the place of y or mod x in the place of x. This time I am putting the whole f of x inside modulus. For example, this is a function y is equal to f of x. How does a function f y is equal to modulus of f of x look like? Again, there are two steps. The graph above x axis remains unchanged. That is a part of the graph above x axis. The part of the graph above x axis does not change. So this will remain same. Now what happens to the part below x axis? The graph below x axis gets flipped about x axis. The graph below x axis will get flipped about x axis. That is this graph gets flipped about x axis. That is it becomes like this. This part also gets flipped about x axis. So this part goes up and goes like this. So this will be the graph of y is equal to modulus of f of x. So the graph above x axis will remain unchanged. The graph below x axis will get flipped about x axis. So these are, these are the two steps that you follow when you have f of x going inside the mod. So I hope these five transformations are clear. These five transformations are very important when it comes to JE and JE mains and advanced examinations.